Botanical Garden of the Polish Academy of Sciences in Powsin. 45 years of activity for science and environment and 25 years for public. This year, the Botanical Garden of the Polish Academy of Sciences in Powsin celebrated its Silver Jubilee, marking the 25th anniversary of its opening to the public, which took place on 12th of May 1990. The day was the culmination of nearly 60 years of Warsaw botanists' efforts to open a large modern botanical garden in the southern part of the capital. There were many people involved in the establishment of the garden. On Jubilee Day, the 15th of May 2015, a monument was unveiled. Tree of Remembrance of those honoured for their services to the Botanical Garden Pass, dedicated to four professors. Roman Kobenca, Bogusław Molski, Szczepan Pieniążek and Emil Nalborczyk, who contributed most to the creation and development of the new Botanical Garden in Warsaw. However, mention should also be made of other professors already deceased. Wacław Gajewski, Edmund Malinowski, Tadeusz Gorczyński, Władysław Bugała or Zbigniew Gertych. The first steps in organizing a botanical garden were taken in the interwar period by two botanists, professors Bolesław Chryniewiecki and Roman Kopenza. The outbreak of World War II interrupted this work. Shortly after the end of the war, they returned to their plans and presented a project to create a new botanical garden in Warsaw. In 1948, Professor Roman Kopenza with his wife Jadwiga introduced a project locating a new 200 hectares botanical garden between Ursynów and Klarysew close to the Kabatsky forest. The first practical steps in the organization of this botanical garden were taken in 1952 with the opening of the Polish Academy of Sciences. Despite the efforts of a large group of botanists, it was not until 1st of April 1970, following the decision of Professor Stepan Pieniążek, Secretary of the Department for Agricultural and Forestry Sciences of the Polish Academy of Sciences, that the Laboratory for Genetic Crop Resources Conservation as part of the Institute of Plant Genetics of PASS was established. Its task was to prepare development plans for the Botanical Garden of PASS. Under the leadership of the then young Dr. Bogusław Molski from the Warsaw University of Life Sciences, a research facility was established and the gathering of plant collections for the future Botanical Garden in Powsin began. On the 1st of July 1974, the Presidium of Polish Academy of Sciences, with the approval of the Government Presidium, adopted a resolution to create the Botanical Garden as an independent scientific institution and it also approved its development plans. These plans assumed the opening of the garden with an area of approximately 230 hectares on the upper and lower terrace of Warsaw Escarpment in three stages. In the years 1974 to 1977, lands with an area of 40 hectares were acquired for the Botanical Garden. Despite intensive efforts of the organizer and the then director of the garden, Professor Bogusław Molski and Professor Szczepan Pieniążek, Chairman of the Scientific Council, from 1975 to 1991, no further acquisition of land was possible. Professor Bogusław Molski, 
died in 1989 at the age of 57 and the management of the garden was entrusted by the Polish Academy of Sciences to one of his former students, then a doctor and now a professor, Jerzy Puchalski, who is performing this task to the present day. From 1992 to his premature death in 2006, the Garden Scientific Council was presided over by an eminent scholar, plant physiologist, Professor Emil Nalborczyk. After him, the Scientific Council for eight years was presided over by Professor Marian Saniewski, an actual member of the Academy of Sciences. Currently, the chairman of the Scientific Council is also a member of the Polish Academy of Sciences, Professor Andrzej Grzywacz. In 1989, the director of the garden and his deputies decided that the most pressing matter is to prepare the garden for its opening to the public and daily visits. This occurred in the spring of the following year. Intensive work was undertaken on the development of collection and display of plants. In 1995, there were jubilee celebrations marking 25 years of the Botanical Garden and on that occasion, the Botanical Garden Education Center of Nature and Ecology was opened together with a new large garden of ornamental perennials. Next was to create a collection of roses in 1999 and a collection of Polish mountain plants in 2003. In the same year, a new greenhouse for warm climate plants called Green Paradise was opened. In 25 years, the garden has been visited by about 2,700,000 people an average of 100,000 per year. In 2004, the number of visitors reached a record high of 167,000. Pass Botanical Garden in its 45-year history systematically developed its research potential. In 1995, the Presidium of the Polish Academy of Sciences gave the garden the status of research institution. Currently, since 2011, it is a supporting research unit of the Polish Academy of Sciences at the Department of Biological and Agricultural Sciences. It conducts broad scientific research activities and popularization as well as conservation in the area of biodiversity. The activity of the unit is aptly encapsulated in the name Botanical Garden, Center for Biological Diversity Conservation, granted to it by PASS in 1997. The main area of research concerns the ex situ plant conservation of endangered and threatened species of Polish flora, as well as the conservation of genetic resources of selected crop plants cultivated in the gene bank. The plant conservation of natural flora it in the garden is achieved by cultivation of plants from different natural habitats, with particular emphasis on rare, endangered and protected by law species. Polish natural flora collection now numbers over 600 species. Since 1992, the garden's seed bank, which uses temperature, approximately 160 degrees centigrade, of liquid nitrogen vapor for long-term storage of seeds harvested from natural localities is another form of diversity conservation of Polish natural flora. 
Currently, the seed bank preserves 220 species collected from more than 700 localities in Poland. The effectiveness of conservation ex situ, genetic diversity of species of flora is assessed on the basis of molecule markers. The results of these analyses allow for the preparation of conservation guidelines for the protection of the diversity of a particular species and its population in artificial and natural locations. For over 40 years, the Botanical Garden of Polish Academy of Sciences is engaged in the maintenance of gene banks for plants important to agriculture, especially rye and apple trees. There are currently more than 2,600 accessions for the collection of rye acquired during field expeditions and through exchange with other gene banks around the world. Researchers related to the collection and evaluation of genetic resources of rye are conducted for many years in close cooperation with gene banks in Poland and worldwide, but particularly with the U.S. National Gene Bank in Fort Collins in the Colorado State. Rye genetic resources are preserved in conditions that secure the lifespan for over a period of at least 50 years. Part of the rye collection is a unique material obtained as a result of years of genetic work containing potential for rye breeding. Since 1985, work is underway in connection with the preservation of apple genetic resources, with particular emphasis on the historical cultivars and wild species. After 30 years of work, it has been possible to gather from Poland, Ukraine, Lithuania and Kazakhstan collections numbering 610 varieties and species, including approximately 500 old historical varieties, a cryogenic bank of historical apple varieties has also been opened, numbering 130 varieties of apple trees, where in liquid nitrogen conditions, fragments of stems with dormant buds have been preserved. The second main area of research is the running of biotechnology works for more than 30 years, whose object is to use the phenomenon of somatic embryogenesis in cultures in vitro. In recent years, species of gentians, as well as tropical and domestic ferns, have become objects of interest. Due to these studies, the phenomenon of somatic embryogenesis in ferns has been described for the first time in world literature. Works on the use of protoplasts are also valuable, that is, cells lacking cell walls, originating from a leaf to the creation of hybrid interspecific gentians. Researchers using deep freezing of tissues and cell suspensions in liquid nitrogen have a great potential importance on the preservation of the diversity of natural flora. A technique has been developed called cryopreservation gametophytes of ferns, which enables them to be secured in bank cultures in vitro. In addition, molecule protoemic and cytological studies are being conducted. In recent years, new researchers in the field of plant molecular biology have begun. They concerned molecular and cellular mechanisms leading to the formation of a leaf, as well as changes arising from pathogen infection. From 1997, in the garden structure, there is an independent laboratory in Mikołów, in the Upper Silesia, specializing in the study of plant development anatomy. 
Among the performed researchers, the dominating theme is associated with radial growth in tree trunks in relationship with the deformation of tissues in the circadian cycle and with the description of the anatomical mechanism of conducting assimilates in Dracaena. There are also researches conducted on the effects of air pollution and soil, on the growth and development of different species of trees and on the use of plants as bioindicators of pollution. On the basis of analysis of accumulated pollutants in the tissues and organs of plants, the detailed maps showing distribution of such pollutants in the whole of Poland and in Warsaw region have been drawn. The results of studies conducted in the last 25 years have been published in 1163 scientific papers, of which 516 so-called original papers have appeared in high-ranking scientific journals. Research achievements have been presented at many conferences and scientific congresses. The Botanical Garden has been the main organizer of 35 scientific conferences, including 10 international and 25 nationwide. An equally important area of the garden's activity is to popularize awareness of natural sciences, especially regarding the threat of biological diversity and the role of plants in human life. For this purpose, there are amassed plant collections numbering almost 10,000 different species and varieties exposed on an approximate area of 30 hectares and in greenhouses. The main expositions of the garden in Povshin is an arboretum with tree and ornamental shrub collections, more than 2,500 varieties and species, collection of ornamental bulbous plants, secondary shoots and perennials, as well as roses, numbering nearly 2,800 varieties and species. In addition, there are collections of horticultural plants, medicinal, aromatic, fruit trees and rare and less known vegetables, a total of more than 1,600 varieties and species. In the garden's greenhouses, Tropical and subtropical plants may be found numbering some 1,800 taxa. The exposed collection of native flora amounts to more than 600 species, which represent different types of natural habitats, for instance rare plants of Polish mountains. For 20 years in the Garden Center of Nature and Ecology, Workshops have been organized for children and students to deal with biodiversity and its threat. During this time, there have been 2,500 such classes held. There are also guided tours arranged of the garden's collections, mainly for organized groups. The garden hosts 800 to 1,000 such groups each year. Pass Botanical Garden for many years actively participates in annual events, popularizing science in Warsaw, educational picnics and science festivals. A total of 115 exhibitions have contributed to popularize natural science. In addition, in three galleries, 
there have been 145 exhibitions presenting art inspired by nature, encompassing painting, drawing and artistic photography. For 20 years, organized outdoor concerts as part of the International Piano Festival Musical Floralia, Music in Flowers, have been enjoying immense popularity. In the open-air garden, there are also concerts of chamber and popular music, including concerts of the winners of the 10th Song Festival of the Polish Army. In the 25 years since the opening to the public, the Botanical Garden in Powszin has become a place of rest and recreation for the residents of Warsaw and its guests. Twice in 1998 and 1999, readers of Gazeta Stołeczna indicated the Botanical Garden as a magical place in Warsaw. In 1999, the Warsaw City Council granted the garden the Toast of Warsaw distinction. The Botanical Garden of the Polish Academy of Sciences in Powszin, after 45 years in business and 25 years of service to the public, is faced with new challenges. It has been impossible to meet the original plans of the initiators. That is, opening this botanical garden in a much larger area of about 230 hectares. But the current developed area of 40 hectares also offers opportunities for further development of the garden. It is planned to establish new plant expositions, for example, an Asian plant garden. Last year, the Polish Academy of Sciences pointed to the garden's Powszin area as a location for the National Museum of Natural History. We thank you for your attention and welcome you to the Botanical Garden in Warsaw, Popshin.